Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is the brand new GWN.cloud. Now, I don't know if these enhancements have been brought to GWN Manager. Um, so I just downloaded the latest OVF for that, and I'm going to deploy that and play around. But this is specifically for GWN Cloud at the moment. Uh, if you are on GWN.cloud, you should have received an email saying they were doing updates. And man, oh man, did they do some updates. So first thing when you get here, the sign-in screen is a little updated, right? They've got this picture right here that's got their new devices. So this uh, this tall router here, that's the GWN 7062, which we're going to do a video on here in the next week or so. You've got the GWN 7664 here. Uh, you've got the GWN 7052, which I have right here. Then over here, you'll see a stack of the new Grandstream switches, which I am super excited about. So you've got a 48 port, a 24 port. Then it looks like we've got a PoE powered switch here. If you zoom in on this, it has PoE uh, in and PoE out over here. And then this little device up here on the top is a new router. If you go check out the FCC uh, filings, Grandstream does have uh, this device. Uh, you know, it went through its FCC filings. So, but what I'm super excited about is Grandstream is taking on all these other manufacturers, and they were voice first. They've they they're awesome with voice, and I'll I'll that's one I'll go to the mat on right. And uh, then they started getting into networking gear and they, they brought that knowledge of how voice is supposed to operate over to the networking gear. So we're going to have less problems in the long run with Grandstream. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And um, I should have, I do have MFA. Uh, give me just a second here. And if you're not running MFA on all your things, why not? So we're going to go ahead and log in, but you can now manage their routers, their switches, and the access points all as a single site, single network. So you'll see right here, as soon as I log in, we've got the Willy How Lab. And you can see it's got the graphic rec representation of the GWN 7052, which is what I've got here. So I can click on that. I can then start drilling into it. Now, for the routers to have the management, you do need to be on the 1.0.5.34 firmware, and that is available for both the GWN 7052 and 7062. Um, so there's a couple different things that you can do. So you can actually do remote access, and if you don't have this exposed to the Internet and you click this remote access, it it uses the Grandstream cloud portal and creates one of these like bridged ses sessions. So it brings you up uh, to the router login screen, but you'll see up here, it's got the proxy address, right? So I don't have any ports exposed. So we'll leave this up. Now, the other thing uh, to know um, ab about the GWN.cloud is that uh, you cannot at this point configure VPN settings, but it's coming soon. So that it takes you over to this router logon screen. And I don't have any firewall ports open, and this thing is double natted. And you can see that the proxy service it uh, allows us to manage it. The other thing to know. That is, if, so the password that I just entered on this uh, GWN7052 login screen is different than the default password that is on the bottom of the device. So when you go to join a uh, Grandstream router to GWN.cloud, you have to use that default password that's on the bottom. It won't take the password that you changed this login to. It is the password on the bottom of the router. All right, so here we can click into the configuration. We can come in here, look at all of our VLAN settings. Right now I'm sending all VLANs. We can mess with the access point settings or the radios on here. We've got debug, so we can SSH into the device. 
Uh, we can do a, pre, a ping trace route, a capture. We can look at the core files. Here's some info so you can see which ports I have active. You can see the time, the uptime, the device name, um, usage. So a lot of great details. So now this is really great. So now if you're an MSP um, uh, or you're an ISP and you're deploying the Grandstream stuff to your customers. Now you can have one portal with everybody as a single site. Now all the gear works. So uh, that is a fantastic thing that has been added. So we can take a look at the clients from the site. So you can see it's just um, my laptop. I've been connected uh, apparently 10 days, but I can come in here and go into the client. I can block the client. I can change the name. I can apply bandwidth rules to the client and I can put a static IP. I can look at the info and we can see more info and you can see that I'm wired and I am plugged in right there. It gives us all kinds of useful information. And then uh, we can come in and look at the uh, bandwidth usage. So this is where I was downloading uh, probably all of, all of those ISO files because I also downloaded uh, Pop! OS. So if I had um, other devices, if I had APs and switches, those would all uh, show up as well. So you can drop this, this down. You could, uh, come in here and filter by device model. Um, we can come in and we can check out any guests and their online status. We can take a look at the vouchers. I don't have any vouchers, uh, set up currently. And then we can come in, we can do a site survey with, uh, this device. And you can see that once scanning starts, AP performance may be reduced for clients. Scanning will take one to two minutes. So we can do that. So we could hit, uh, detect. I don't have anything. It's not going to let me do it with the uh, with the router. Network topology. Uh, if you have um, if you have multiple pieces of gear connected together, we're going to be able to see that. So I can actually come in here and turn on the clients, and now you can see my laptop is directly connected to the GWN seventy fifty two. So this is starting to look. Uh, pretty familiar and I'm, I'm loving it. We've got our alerts down here. If we had any alerts and then we've got, now we've got site wide settings. So earlier you saw on the device where we could manage the radio specific settings. This is where we can come in and do it for the site. So we've got, we don't have any, um, extra wireless LAN set up. We've got the GWN dot cloud. We've got our global radio settings for uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Now, this device is only AC. It is not AX or Wi-Fi 6. So um, the Wi-Fi 5 compatible mode uh, isn't as important. But as soon as you have Grandstream devices here that are Wi-Fi 6 or AX, turn on Wi-Fi 5 compatible mode. We've got our LAN settings. So we can come in here and start changing our LAN settings. We've got our internet settings and we can uh, take a look at our internet source. And right now this only has one WAN, um, but we could come in here, we could edit this. We could get away from DHCP if it's on a VLAN. Um, the tracking IP is for failover. We can, we can, configure all the things right here. VPN is the only thing right now that we can't manage. So when we open that up, that's where it opens up this portal so that we can come over to our VPN uh, server in the GWN. And we're going to do videos on this. This is coming full stack grand stream. We've got traffic management. So right now that is static routes. We've got firewall and security. So we can do port forwarding right from here. We can do wired firewall rules. Um, so we can do inbound rules, forwarding rules here. We can do wireless, uh, rules. So specifically for wired clients, we can configure our rogue AP detection and then how we are going to handle that. And that's a whole video all of its own. We've got advanced security settings. I don't run ALGs and you'll notice a lot of manufacturers disable them by default. Then under profiles, we've got our portal profile. We've got splash pages we can set up for guests. We've got port profiles set up so we can set up different switch ports. We've got Mac groups, bandwidth rules, scheduling. 
We've got our radius set up. We've got our PPSKs, client time policy, and then hotspot 2.0. And then we can come in and we can uh, change a lot of the stuff under the system setup. So we've got access logs, guest information, the NAT pool, NAT pool SNMP. We do support SNMP 1, 2, and 3 with the Grandstream gear. And then right now we're using the cloud syslog server, but we could send that off to our own syslog server. And then you've got your uh, organization-wide um, setup. So this is all the different networks. You can see Willie Howe Lab. Um, and I've been running this particular site since 2019. We can come into our inventory. We can claim devices, move devices around, all that good stuff. We can upgrade devices. We can take a look at the upgrade history of the devices. So you can see that at one point I had some 7602s joined and uh, I did an upgrade on those. But 1.0.5.34 is the latest for the routers. We've got reporting. So we can come in here. This is probably a video all of its own. We've got our change log. So you can see everything that has been done. And this is one of the things that I really like about Grandstream is how in-depth their login is. If you've ever used their uh, UCM, you know we can go back and we can reconstruct everything. So when somebody calls us and they're like, oh, hey, the system just started doing X. And we're like, hmm. Okay, so we log in and we look at that change log and we can see what the administrator changed, when they changed it, and then what happened. And then, of course, there is uh, an API that you can get to. Man, Grandstream coming out of the chute hard, and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. If you've got any questions about GWN.cloud, let me know down below. Like I said, I'm going to check out GWN Manager, so a video will be coming on that soon. I do run that, but I haven't done the latest updates in all the places that I'm running that. Uh, I just, I'm so excited to get these switches. That new router, I'm super excited about that new router and that new switch. I cannot wait for that. But make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, you comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, click hire us or contact us, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. All of our affiliate links are down below as well as our Patreon link. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.